Take it that way? Yeah, go one of you on each side. You here. better go right over here. I'm gonna send him in here. You ready? This is how yep. I look when I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> good. At least the house. There we go. There you go. Get him. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I think that was Dead. you didn't waste a pellet in that shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if there is a better bird on the planet, and I've been kicking around this planet for a long time chasing birds. I don't know of it. Uh -oh. Whoa. I mean, a bobwhite quail, when a covey erupts, whoop, and that subterfuge of the birds going all different directions, you got to focus on one, go to the next one. High shot. That's electric, and that's so much fun. Oh, I got it. Here, here. Never uh, quail hunted before, but uh, I'm trying to get out here and get the hang of it. <laughs> All right, practicing conservation oh, oh, down got there. Me, got me. <laughs> After doing a lot of competition shooting, you kind of get in the zone of this like point shoot and, and getting everything lined up. So as soon as I kind of got in the groove, it was pretty fun. There you go, Oh. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's a long shot. <laughs> That's why they put two pipes in those guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're here at Braze Island Plantation, which is my home. Good luck, gentlemen. No prisoners. I've lived here for 12 years and hope to live here for a few more. God, it's nice to be out here in the morning like this. It really is. The, the tradition of quail hunting is to watch the dogs work. That's pretty point, isn't it? And then when that Not little bird enough. gets up like a rocket and goes, there it goes. Right. Nicely done. Right. It's a great occasion. Good boy, DC. Good boy. Good boy, all right. Good boy. That is so sweet to see. The uninitiated wouldn't appreciate this, but I always, I get like the what for other actors is opening night jitters. DC. Before every one of these things. Nice. Here, here, here. But it's kind of like when I used to play football here. when I was a kid. Here. I'd be nervous as all get out until the first hit. Now, oh yeah, I remember this. Let's go. Nice. I don't see how it could get any better than this. Braze Island Plantation is a 5,500-acre private community located in the low country of South Carolina between Charleston and Savannah. There's 325 home sites here at Braze Island Plantation, but what separates Braze from any other place really in the country is the diversity of the amenities that are offered here right on the plantation. Um, but more significantly is that if, if you are someone that loves the shot cutting pursuits, whether it's after birds, whether it's after clays, you, you live in an environment and in a homestead where birds of a feather essentially flock together. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah, come here. For my family, Braze Island is where so many treasured memories begin. Whether it's in the quail fields with our field cocker, on the water battling big redfish, or at a tree stand chasing an overabundance of whitetails. This special place calls out to the connoisseurs of the sporting lifestyle, making it the perfect location for this rendezvous with old friends. In Iraq, he was General Boomer. In Hollywood, he was Major Dad. At Braze Island, they're kindred spirits, brothers walking the quail fields side by side. But the night before our hunt began, I had a top secret mission. This particular time uh, is very special for me because I was surprised last night when Gerald McGraney walked into the room. Is a lowly major allowed in these proceedings? How are you, sir? It's good to see you. Good to see you. He and I met 
when my wife and I went uh, on a USO tour when it was still Operation Desert Shield, just before the first Persian Gulf War started. And, and he just went out and visited the troops. It was, it was marvelous. And it was just so great to bring these two together and, and for Walt not to know that he was coming. He didn't well, tell me he was here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm standing right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, generals are, are not about surprises. They're about delivering surprises. But nevertheless, it was a hell of a lot of fun. Surprise, really. It'll be fun. It's a nice surprise. Thank you. We've been talking about getting together and going hunting, and this is the first time it's actually happened. All right, here we go. All right, we're ready. Diesel. Everything I would have hoped for and more. Nice shot. Good shot. Ah, oh, shot behind him. Son of a gun. Here, come here. <laughs> Son of a gun. Good language, General. <laughs> I was trying to be good. Yeah. You should have been proud of me. I am proud of you. Here. Come here. You're out here. <laughs> Gray's Island is home to 325 owners, including myself and General Walt Boomer. After a long and distinguished career in the U.S. Marine Corps, General Boomer certainly earned the privilege of spending his golden years in retirement in this very special place. You know, I, I grew up hunting and fishing in rural North Carolina, and it just never left my blood. And now I'm sort of, <laughs> I guess I'm living my childhood dream. Decent. There we go. Hey. There we go. Chris, I could say I didn't mean to shoot your bird, but I did. Here, come here. Uh, here, come here, here. That's right. The day's Decent. young. Here, here, here. I know. <laughs> Payback up, is hell, up, right? Up. Walt and Sandy Boomer are, are really royalty in these parts. I mean, they're, they're salt of the earth people, wonderful folks, and, and uh, really have become dear friends of Amy and mine over the last several years that we've owned here at, at Bray's Island. Oh, nice shot. Well done. That was pretty cool. The beauty of the plantation itself, it doesn't have the grandeur of the Rocky Mountains, but it has its own special grandeur. The concept of a shared plantation isn't widely known or widely understood simply because it, it doesn't exist widely. Uh, for 325 fortunate owners, we've got a five and a half thousand acre playground. Not only that, 5,200 acres are held in common. Sumner Pingree, who, who, to whom I give all the credit for Bray's Island, he took such a sacrificial approach in terms of how he chose to develop Bray's. He was not seeking his next fortune. Uh, he was adamant about preserving a plantation. And that's what we have today. Perfect habitat for Mr. Bob. Oh. You know, Bray's Island has a quail on the logo because that's really the, the hallmark species here. Here you go. Nice. Good You're about as quick as anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, and joining us on the hunt was Cody Osborne from Walther. I mean, Walther is a legendary brand and, and a super quick shot. This guy's got lightning reflexes. Here you go. Nice. Here, I tell you what, you're on, man. <laughs> We're going to oh. move him to the 410 class, yeah. I think. Oh. <laughs> I mean, go. it's a sportsman's What's playground. This is a place that you, you come here, your blood pressure drops. If you love the outdoors, I mean, you are home. This whole place is built around folks who have a shared passion for the outdoors, and there's just nothing like it. Oh, boy. Oh. There he goes. Whoa. <laughs> He's quick, man. I tell you what. Up. I do not want to be in a gunfight with that guy. Up. <laughs> Here, here, Diesel. Boy, here. Diesel. Good boy. Diesel up. for president. Up. Yeah. Up. Good stuff. That was super cool. What a glorious day in Bray's Island, AKA Paradise. Something that tends to elude us all in our busy lives is quality time time in the field, so to speak, with, with family and friends. And Bray's makes it exceedingly easy. Do you have an experience in low country if you haven't experienced an oyster rose? The beauty of it is it's social. Groups of people gather together. There's nothing formal whatsoever about it. 
Everything here is about fun, it's about recreation, it's about great people who share a passion. And so it was really cool to experience kind of the culture around here in this low country and, and see, you know, how it is and how it influences people. All in all, life's good, we're blessed, and I'm grateful. Well, this has been uh, one of the best trips I've had uh, hunting ever. I don't know if uh, anyone has told you this, but I don't really fit into Hollywood. But, you know, the, the swamps and the backwoods, that's where I belong. <laughs> <laughs>